morning, folks. Heading over to the shop today. Looking pretty dead over here. Uh, what do you expect for a Saturday? So today, we're changing out tires. One of the work vans. It's always good to get a set of fresh rubber. So that's gonna be the task at hand today. Lights on. Ah, that's the one. Mm. One of my uh, installers forgot to measure how big the dumpster is, I guess. So I'm gonna have to cut that down. That's an old fiberglass door. E um, e um e uh, it, no. It, that's how you make your garbage man upset right there. He'll dump crap on the ground for you because of that stuff. He's going to be mad if he sees that, so I'll cut that down later. All right, task at hand. Let's take a look at these puppies. You can see they're, they're getting down there. There's not much. I think I might save them for the plow truck. Or this truck, actually. This truck, I always just put random, weird, crappy, cheap tires on it. I like running tires till they're gone. You spend a lot of money for them. It is a pain, though, to change them all the time. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hard to say. So if you're not accustomed to using one of these electric impacts, or you don't have one, I'd highly recommend it. This is a DeWalt one. It's a model DW292. It's just nice when you don't have an option. At the shop we don't have air. really don't need air. I figured I might as well check out the brake pads. Nice when you have a newer vehicle. Brake pads look really good. Now obviously the back, I know they're not gonna wear out as fast. We'll see what the front looks like, it, but it's always nice. New vehicles, they just they don't they don't have all extended wear like uh, a traditional older vehicle. This one looks like it's holding up pretty well. Alright, three more to go. So, it might be one of those things that you're asking yourself, you're like, Dave, why don't you just take it into a tire shop and get the tires taken off? There's a couple reasons why. <clears throat> For one, I think you get better service. They'll get you in and out faster. You know, it's not such a burden. Second is, I don't like the fact that, um, well, let's just say I worked at a tire shop and I know how the guys are there. They're kind of rough on things. It's not theirs. I've seen them bang doors, you know, um, I just don't like that uncertainty. I want them to go in there, I want them to do a small job and a good job, which is change my tires, seal them up, put new valve stems in there, balance them, make them good. But sometimes it gets overwhelming when they gotta take tires off. I mean, I know it's part of their job, but the other reason too, let me flip the camera here, is I didn't realize that this vehicle has grease zerks on it. So I'm learning a few things. So I'm gonna make sure I go home and grab a grease gun, and I'll go through and get all these, all these grease fittings greased up on there. Another reason too, I like to check the brakes. And the brakes are looking 
amazing on here actually plenty of meat on them plenty of meat so mr. Dale's doing a good job driving it He's definitely not abusing it which I uh, came to expect anyways he's a good dude he does a good job couldn't do it without him really really appreciate all his hard work and I hope I can make it pay off for him one day it's like that little bit of rust maybe no maybe maybe not this ladder rack is starting to rust Michigan's horrible I remember a guy came up here from I think like Tennessee or something and he we took a tire off one time and he seen a little bit like he seen like that and he goes what is that <laughs> we go that's rust man oh uh, was funny at least I thought it was kind of funny the fact that he didn't know what rust really was he thought it was like something disease or something so do get the other side off get the tires off get them in the back of the old pickup here take them down to the tire place and uh, we'll get them swapped out get some new rubber put on be good for winter oh let me show you these tires let me show you these tires before we got uh, what are these I don't know what those are cruisers something HXT yeah anyways see I got these little lines in them that makes it better grip for in the winter time I guess this is what they use on the FedEx trucks and stuff so they go out down some back roads and stuff and they're not four-wheel drive so they said that they highly recommend these they look like a pretty good design from just my opinion and being in the tires for uh, quite a few years doing uh, working at discount and Penske and whatnot so I think they'll work really good I think he'll be real pleased with them I think they'll actually be better than these tires wherever the old fire or Bridgestone like I said look at these ones though that's pretty roached yeah, he'd be slipping and sliding. And there's your wear bar. She's pretty much flush. Another couple front ones. It's funny how the back ones, and typically your front ones wear out. But I think it's because we haul so much weight. That's why the rear, and we, we, didn't do, we didn't do rotations on these like we should. So, and I'm also going to check his spare tire, make sure he's looking good there. So he's ready for winter. Well, shucks. I thought I was going to be behind schedule a little bit. Not quite 8 o'clock yet. So, I guess I'll run over to the house, grab a grease gun, get this guy greased up. Like to get their coffee, they like to chit chat in the morning. So you, you normally want to show up about maybe 10, 15 minutes afterwards. That way, that way they uh, have no excuse. They look at the clock and go, oh, it's like 8.15, we have no excuse to be lounging and being lazy or anything like that and maybe they got their coffee and they're not so cranky so helpful little tip so got it greased up got all the fittings all greased slap a little grease i know they recommend not recommend it but i do it i do a lot of things that they don't recommend in life i just go with what i think is right sorry that's just the way i am this guy though, this guy right here is a lifesaver. A little bit pricey, but boy is daddy happy to have that. Oh my goodness. I've spent years, years always, you know, playing around, you know, when you're pumping it and just putting it on the ground and you're trying and you're trying to hold the, the, the fitting on there and whatnot. I'm over those days. I'll take that anytime. All right, tire shop, here we go. Mm, time to grab a little breakfast at my favorite place, Mr. Quicks. Hello. So, today's not a very adventurous day by any means, but it is being proactive. Proactive is key. So, um, I don't know what you guys are experiencing. We are just so want. I got like four more guys coming on board. Um, we got some big stuff too, big juicy stuff. Um, none of the snowflake stuff like that low stuff or that um, some of the little resis like big 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 jobs so um, kind of happy about that because uh, it, it's it's a bummer because the weather is going to be changing it's so nice out today it's supposed to be up in about 70s today but uh, we'll get through it we got some good men we got some good burly guys coming um, so that'll be coming up here shortly 
Right now, the big thing is getting material. Sometimes the materials get to be a trouble. I got some ways around that, though. I got some friends in low places. And uh, so that, that's working out in our favor a little bit. But uh, I just wonder what you guys are experiencing out there, what you're seeing. If uh, you're having problems getting material, if you guys are super busy, if the economy's crashing. Um, feels like it's got to slow down. But it just full steam ahead right now it just it's and it's always as busy this time of year you know once we hit christmas and then then it'll just plateau off but like i said i, I think this winter is going to be cold and long especially with all this election stuff going on huh uh, what do you think about that what a mess all right i'm gonna get some food well a little bummer stopped at the tire place the tires aren't ready yet Said they'd be done at noon. Went there about 12:15, so they haven't touched them yet. So, I guess in the meanwhile, I'm gonna cut up these sections. It'll be fun by myself. I already have a little problem with saws and knees, but we'll make it happen. There's my chair yet, waiting for me. Figured it'd be easier to climb up the ladder, chop them, slide them back down instead of hauling them back out. Tool of choice. Tool of choice. The Husky. The Husqvarna. Yep, let's get to her. what they call a train idiot okay so don't do this <sighs> but with that said I do have a bum back and it's a lot easier to do that leaning over versus drag them all out put them on the ground bend over seems kind of silly it's a little more dangerous but preserving the body that's sometimes what it's all about also that'll make the garbage man happy and uh, yeah back on to something else. That'll be nice. Switch it back. That's the right thing to do. We don't hardly ever cut steel or anything. Well, just got back from the tire shop. We're looking good. Got some new rubber. Uh, nothing like the smell of fresh rubber. Got that for another service vehicle coming down the road here. Yes. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. All right, time to get this bad boy back together. Spare tire was low. Ran home real quick. Whew. Got her filled up so she's ready for winter. Whew. Out in here.
soys. He's all set for winter now. He's got good rubber and spare in case you get a flat. Looking good. Time to get prepped.